Hi, in this video I will show you how to create such a model in Plasticity. I will start a new project and here we will begin by drawing a circle. Choose the circle drawing tool and place the center of the circle at the origin of the coordinate system. Then press the tab key to specify the diameter of the circle. Enter 100 millimeters for the diameter and press enter to confirm. Now switch to the top view. Click on this cube here and select the circle drawing tool again. Place the center of the circle at this point and enter 20 millimeters for the diameter, which means pressing the tab key, typing 20 and pressing enter to confirm. The circle is selected. We choose the radial array command to add a circular array of these circles. For the center of the radial array, we select this point and enter 10 as the number of elements. Click OK to confirm, close the working plane, and now switch to face selection. Using the selection window, select all geometries and add an extrusion of 5 mm. To do this precisely, press the D key, then press the 5 key, and press enter to confirm, and enter again to finish this command. Now, in the elements list I select all flat geometries. I click the left mouse button on the first geometry, press the shift key, and click the left mouse button on the last geometry, and then I click the eye icon to turn off the visibility of these geometries. Next, I set the view to the top again. I select the circle drawing tool and draw a circle whose center will be at this point, and the diameter of the circle is 10 millimeters, which means pressing the tab key, typing 10, enter, and we have something like this. I close the working plane, and now based on this circle, we will create a hole in this solid. To do this, pull this area down to create something like this. To create the hole immediately, press the W key on the keyboard and point to this solid to create the hole in it. Click OK to confirm. I immediately turn off the visibility of the flat geometry. Now, I point to the face of the hole and select the radial array command to create a circular array based on this hole. For the center of the radial array, I select this point and I enter 10 as the number of elements and click OK to confirm. And now, we have something like this. Next, I select the circle drawing tool and draw a circle whose center will lie in the middle of this circle, and I place the other point of the circle on this circle to create a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. Then I draw a second circle, the center of the circle at this point, and the diameter of the circle is 15 millimeters, which means pressing the tab key, typing 15, and pressing enter to create something like this. Next, I only select this area and add an extrusion of three millimeters, which means pressing the D key, the 3 key, and pressing enter to confirm, and enter again. In this way, we created another solid. Now we will add a circular array of this solid. This solid is selected. Choose the circular array command. For the center of the circular array, select this point, and enter 10 as the number of elements, then click OK to confirm. I will turn off the visibility of the flat geometries and select all solids, meaning these smaller ones were already selected. With the control key, I also select this larger solid and press the Q key to activate the boolean command. I press the Q key again to activate the joining of solids. I click OK. And this way we created something like this. Now I will create another circle and place the center of the circle at this point and the diameter of the circle is 60 millimeters. Okay, 
Based on this circle, we will create a hole in this solid, so we add such an extrusion. Press W on the keyboard and select this solid as the solid from which we will remove material and click OK to confirm. I will turn off the visibility of this circle and now we will add a mirror of this solid. This solid is selected. Choose the mirror command and specify the direction of the mirror. Here we also press the Q key to ensure that these solids are joined together and click OK. This way we have something like this. Now we will add chamfers to all edges of the solid. The solid is selected. To select all edges of this solid, we press the keyboard shortcut control plus 2. Now let's activate the command for adding chamfers or fillets. We can do this by pressing the B key on the keyboard. And now we will set the chamfer here. We press the C key. Enter the value 0 0.5. And press enter to confirm. And enter again to finish this command. In this way, we created such a solid. And we will finish here. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to this channel.